So I just got back in town from a long vacation, and I'm excited to get on social stream to see what people have been up to. When I log in, I like to check out the timeline first, see what's going on. My friend Mandy will actually scroll ahead, check out the events in the future since she plans most of our activities, but I like to scroll back in time and read some of the headlines. Beware the nasty. I wonder what this is. I'm going to click the post to check out some more. Adrian always posts some interesting things. And she's actually been more active, I think, since she's joined Social Stream. It just makes everything so much easier for her. Let's see here. So it looks like she had a cold last week. I'm going to leave her a quick note to just let her know I'm thinking about her and hope she's feeling better. It might be a little late now, but it's always nice to let her know. I'm actually glad she didn't make me sick. My vacation was to go scuba diving with some friends, and it would have been miserable if I couldn't have gone just because I was sick. So hopefully she gets this soon and is feeling better. Um, the next thing I want to do is actually head back home so I can see what else people have been doing. So I'm going to go to my home page and I want to change my status because it still says that I'm on vacation. And I want to change it so people can actually know I'm back in town, just catching up with them. And um, if they want to leave me a quick note or chat with me, I'm available. Another thing I like to look at on the home page is these little snippets. Especially when there's some pictures, it's, it's nice to be able to just get a quick view of it. This one by Lewis looks really neat. He always takes some great photos, so I'm going to click on it to check out some more. I think he actually went to Europe recently, so this is, must be where it's from. Yeah, these are, these are some amazing photos. This last one here actually reminds me of one I took while on vacation, so I'm going to post about it. I bet Lewis would like to see it. Um, so I can put it on social stream. I already downloaded it from my camera this morning, so I simply have to just open it up and um, give it a quick title. And the cool thing about social stream is even though I have a couple sites online, I can, you know, right here post to them both at once, which is really convenient. And I think I'm just going to share this with everyone this time. My friend um, Mandy doesn't post much, so she'll actually add um, post as her favorite and that way we can go to her page and see what she's interested in. So I'm going to check out my stream now to kind of see who's been checking out my stuff and if anyone's left any comments for me. Looks like there are some comments over here. Adrian loves this section because social stream will actually um, let her see them all at once. She doesn't have to scroll through her posts or go to different sites. She can see all our comments. Looks like Tyrone here likes my, my little pet hedgehog. Um, and he actually said we need to catch up because it's been a while. So I'm going to click on him, go to his page, see what he's been up to. Let's see. Looks like he's on tour with his band right now. So I bet he's taking some, some fun photos on, on the trip. So I'm going to filter by his photos so I can see exactly what I want here. Adrian uses these filters all the time because she, she, she has so many friends. It's just easier for her to get out right what she wants. So I'm going to scroll through these photos. Looks like he's been to some interesting places here. All oh, these last ones here from when we um, moved Charlotte into her new place. I, I don't get to talk to her much. I actually wish she was on social stream. I think I'm going to send her an invite today. So I'm going to go to my contacts page. My friend Mandy says she invites people all the time. A lot of the people she knows are just a little too hesitant to get on social networking or aren't as computer savvy. So this invite a friend is a good way for her to get them started so when they log in it's a lot easier. So all I have to do is enter Charlotte's email, her name. And the cool thing is Social Stream will even let me share my friends with her. Since we both know Tyrone, I can add him as a contact. So when she logs in, she'll see both of us right away. So instantly she has, you know, a connection and knows someone in the network. So while I was on vacation, I met a cool guy named Jason. And he said he knew my friend Chris, who's on Social Stream. And, you know, he said when I get back in town, I should look him up on, on Social Stream and add him. So I'm going to go to Chris's contacts page and look for Jason. Um, so let's see here. Okay, there he is. So yeah, I'm just going to add him as a contact and hopefully we'll both be posting some of our, some more photos from our trip so we can share some of the fun adventures. Adrian here, it looks like she has a content icon telling me she has some new content. So I'm going to open this up you know, see some what she's been doing. 79 posts. Looks like she's been busy as usual. I'll get to those later, but I'm going to send her a quick chat message. It looks like she wants to go to a movie tonight. So I'm going to leave her a, a little note saying I'd love to join her. 
and um, maybe we can catch up tonight.